Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the fun episode of the week. Uh, there's going to be a couple of these a week now, it's just me not worrying about money, just getting on, doing a bit of farming. We're starting from scratch, so I'm starting with you guys, so not an awful lot of farming, physically farming happening at the moment in these episodes, but we're just getting the farm set up, ready to just jump on and farm, so bear, bear with me. Uh, I haven't been told not to record these, people seem to be enjoying all the videos I put up so I'm going to keep up with these as well for now. So you'll get a Ballymoon Castle uh, video every day or two and then one of these every day or two. So just like Dramad, this is to replace the Dramad gameplay because I've played that for ages now. It's huge, there's loads of equipment, I want to come and play this and actually build a mess about farm with you guys so you know where we're not worried about money so anyhow back with it we're going to build a farmyard today but in between building the farmyard we're going to set away the case uh it's not a case mark it's a class harvester wherever he is oh he's way up there i'm not running all the way up there so we've got this field number nine which we're going to do ourselves but in between Yeah, pretty much in between uh, while we're building our farmyard, I wanted to actually set this guy away. Alright, that'll do. Right, so... Basically, what, what we're going to do, right, the main point in today is to build somewhere where I've got oh, a bit of stutter there. So it's to build somewhere that we can reset vehicles and that too, and it still looks like a nice place. Put a fuel depot, you know, it's basically just to keep it nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset that to that, and then, so this, this is our reset field, right? So it's nice, it's right near uh, the Chentry farm and uh, this, our vehicles reset from about here, you know, all, all the way up. We're not going to be resetting that many vehicles. So basically I want to cultivate this area. Uh, so I want to cultivate in some nice ground. I don't know, I don't think there's like a... I don't know if there's like a roller where you can like roll concrete or like I don't know I know very little about the ground sort of stuff I know so that's a delete field so that puts the field back to how it was which I don't need to do that uh, weeds pull weeds between the ground so that's a cement roll that's a concrete roll like I don't know it can be used for right so you, you can't actually use that so what's this one that's classed as a weeder that's a delete silos one used to smooth after planting yeah so the, i don't think there is one to actually do concrete uh, see, i don't know so are these just weeders these ones? There must be. Uh, just gonna see. I'm just gonna have a bit of a trial and error thing here because I, I don't know that much about some of the equipment either, guys. So, because I know I put the ground modification thing on, but I don't know what that. Come on, start. So I'm pretty sure with this, this just puts the field back to how it used to be. If I remember correctly. Uh, so we'll get rid of the map because we know where we are. So this is remove grass, ground type original ground. 
cultivated, ploughed, sowed, sowed wide, grass field, asphalt. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have a bit of a mess about with this. Right, so if I lower this down now. Ground type, stop, change angle. So that lifts it up and down. That's not asphalt though, that's just grass. Change angle. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Ground type. So is that, so is the ground type actually to tell you what, what ground type you're on, is that, I've got no idea what I'm doing with this thing, I, I, I want to know if this would change that to concrete. Gravel. So yeah, I wanted the roll that actually. Right. So that that's not what we wanted with this. I may as well take away the grass in the gateway anyway. Right, so that's fine. We'll use the roller for something. At this state though, we need a cultivator. Right, we'll, st we'll, st we'll start from scratch. So it's clearly that that's not gonna do what we want it to do. Uh, well, what I wanted to do. So that, is this just a weeder? I'm going to buy a few bits to stick up here just so I can try stuff out. Uh, I'll well, tell you what we need to know as well. If we've got sheds, we need to know if, we can, if we've got plenty of sheds to put in. Uh, you know me, I normally have a fair few mods in. Bear in mind all my mods are from the mod hub, so don't panic. They're not mods where you're going to find a nightmare putting them in. They're all from the mod hub. There's lots of them, but they, they are from the mod hub. What's this? Storage building. Nice. Yeah, yeah there's plenty of sheds there. Sheds for uneven ground there. Do, have we got the green pack sheds in? Yeah, there they are. Some other new sheds as well, which I've never tried. Uh, slow config hall. Okay, we can stick one of them in. Oh, this is good. Good. Right, so, back to the important stuff. We need a cultivator. Uh, we don't need a modded one. Probably just a 6 metre job. Uh, or a 4.8, would that do? What's this one? That's a 6. So, what's the design? Well, I've got, what's... Sink coat? I don't know what that is. We'll go with that. Always go for what you don't know what it is. Right, we need a working tractor with a bit more weight behind it for up in these fields. What tractors haven't we used yet? Uh, big JCB, big case, New Holland. Uh, it's probably a bit small. We'll go for the big New Holland. We'll put wide tyres on it because it's going to be busy. And we're going to go back to the shop and we're going to reset that. 
we're going to reset that because I don't know what that does. It's always nice to know what things do. I think I think what it says is it just weeds your grass to make your grass better. There, we need to lower that first. That's fine. We'll use this little uh, 85 just for getting the jobs done. For doing the small jobs. I'm probably going to be on the outside view a little bit today, guys, just to make my life a bit easier. I've, I've, I've seen outside view, but I just can't drive in it very well. There we go. So it, it literally just weeds. Right, we don't we don't need one of them then. I, I didn't know if it was going to give us like a. I'll maybe look into that on the internet to see if we can put like a concrete road in and that because that would be awesome. Uh, right, so main job: get this shifted and get cultivating to make a nice ground for ourselves. I'll leave this up here in case we need to add any more ground back in. Right, big track there. Is this a cedar as well, this? Right, so... Oh, I don't need that down yet. Right, so I want to start practically up here. If we can. So, I know the reset points around there, so I'm going to come in here and then I'm going to keep a nice... I want to keep a bit of grass in. So we'll leave that bit of grass in for now and we can take it out if need be and then we're gonna I wanna take it out right back to here. Why is that why is that not cultivating? Oh you can only take it back so far, right, okay, okay. We'll nip round the edge and then we'll uh so because I can't see what I'm doing here, we'll pick that up. I want to bring this further out round here. That's because we're messing on with that roller. We need the delete fields thing. Right, so we'll get this bit out of the way. We can always replant grass as well. If we need to, to make it look more like a, like a yard. So we've got our outline now, so we can get rid of all of this. Just because this farm is going to be a, re a real big part of the channel, I want somewhere where I can reset vehicles. There's a fuel station here. There's some sheds to put vehicles in if need be because some of the vehicles are a bit big to go in the, the farms. Uh, not like I'm not going to get used big equipment that's too big. What I mean is 
once you start getting a lot of equipment and you've got bales to store and everything else there's loads of bale storage at uh, the Chentley farm however that then takes up where you can store your vehicles so we'll need to get a a plough uh, just to get rid of the, where I used the roller not a bad track to this, I like it then we'll put some sheds in and then we can plant back around the sheds that's not an issue and as I say if I if I learn in the future how we can put like concrete bases and that in then we'll come back and do a bit of more work on here but I'm doing as much as what I know how to do so I think it'll still look good we'll put some fences in if need be we'll see how long it's gonna take we just want to spend one episode on like doing something a bit different uh, we're gonna do loads of farming here and I thought I did uh, at Dramad uh, we went and built a little bit of a bale storage area and it went down really well people seemed really happy with that so that didn't go down there I did press the button to put it down but it didn't go down for whatever reason right so right we're gonna leave this over here for now And we need to put some sheds in. Oh, I don't know what sheds to put in. It's definitely going to be the modded ones. I was thinking of the green sheds. I've not really used the other sheds. Uh, oh, that's a nice. F is that our oh, liquid fertilizer station? I thought that was a fuel station. That would have been nice. What's that? Placeable fountain? Don't. So, is that. Oh wow. So why can't we put that here? Oh, it's just... <laughs> that's... Right, okay, that's why we can't put it here, because it's just massive. Right, that's fine, I don't want some of that big in here. We'll try that out in another farm. So we've got these sheds that I've never used. which also we can't put anywhere but there okay it's going to be quite limiting this field then unfortunately uh, we've got them little green sheds which I like uh, that's like a new type of shed there's only certain places you can put them which is slightly annoying but we'll not let it get us down uh, is that big shed that's more sort of forestry right so I think it's just going to be the green sheds uh, what have we got medium grain storage probably medium is that going to fit that's the crack here I would, I would have liked to put a couple in if I could uh, hang on where are we at they're actually the wrong way around as well so ideally I was thinking like two 
which we'll have to go there. We can open this up a bit more. But that the problem with the two is that's gonna leave us like a load of room down the back. I don't know how far back can we get. Oh. So we could go there. Right, and then can we get another one in? Oh, we could just. But I'll have to open up the field a bit more. So we could get another one in there. But I think you're going to get a little bit of tree in the way. So what we'll do is... I fancy two of these sheds. So, is the grain store smaller? We'll put one good. Nah, now nah, we'll stick stick with the plan, Mark. Stick small ones. You can put a couple of them in, which would nah. I want to be able to put big equipment in. That's that's the point of the farm. Right. Oh, where are we at here? With the whole rig set up, it's not the easiest thing to to try and set up. To be honest. Right. So if we put that right in the hedge. Like so. That should give us another room to put in a second one. We'll go and check it out before I'll need to cultivate the ground underneath the second one. Just want to make sure all the doors are level and that the roofs line up. Oh, I missed the roof slightly. Not by much, like... Right, anyway, that's going to give us the space now to be able to cultivate the ground, because what will happen is, watch, if we go into this shed here... There'll be a bit of ground back here, you see? Oh, we may as well get a shot of that. I, w I want it to be nice. Uh, and this whole episode's based on doing this, so I've got plenty of time, I'm not worried about that. So we're going to sell that, and it's always easier to get them lined up if you just put two back in. So I'm going to go back to my cultivator and square this field off of it. Right, so I think we should be alright now, as, uh, if we can get the sheds back in uh, neatly this time. Uh, right, so you want them, want them like aligned with that edge, like that. And I want this one as far back as I can get it, without being in the hedge. This one should naturally. I missed a little bit. Uh, 
Alright, that'll be, I think. Did we get it? And the roof's lined up. Nice. Oh, we got it, we got it. Excellent. Right, so, we've got places to store stuff now. So, when you drive in now, I need to get, get a plow to sort this driveway out. So now when you drive in, we've got somewhere to store things, which is good. So if this is going to be a reset point, we need somewhere uh, Yeah, if this is going to be a reset point, we need somewhere to reset the to fill up the seeds and whatnot. Uh, what's that sort of shed? Don't really know what this shed is. Oh, that that'll be why we can't place a lot in this field because it's a reset field. That that'll make sense. Which is fine. This is just meant to be a vehicle field, like so. It's no. It's not bother me at all. Uh, we'll get in as much as we can get in. See these these rack systems are awesome. It'd be nice if we could have put one of these in. I kind of want to keep this area. So where do I want to put the seed? So I'll put one of these racks nice here for all the new equipment. So we could put one nicely just on the corner, just here. Right, that's all right. So then I've got the milk trigger, which we don't need. And what else have we got? Liquid fertilizer, twin fertilizer tanks. Oh, we could put them on the way out actually. Ah, hang on, we'll put them in after. Uh, hydrants, they'll need to go in. Fuel, that'll need to go in. Uh, but I'm not looking for that at the moment. I'm looking for oh, seeds, fertilizers, right, okay. We need to put all this in, all this needs to go in. Uh, the main thing was to get to start off we'll fence it later on the main thing was to sort out pig food fertilizer station I don't know if we're gonna have room for that at the moment uh, manure store manure shop placeable oh so we can actually fill up a thing from there oh that would be handy could probably put that in next to the shed. Yeah, that that would actually be really handy to have. And we could fill up spreaders and that on before we go out. I don't want it to look wrong. It kind of would have been nice just here. Uh, I'll leave that for now. Yeah, because we've got liquid fertilizer, large slurry tank. So I think we need to do some. Right, on that front, it needs to be here. You know, like on the way out. So we'll shift this out the way for now. I'm going to stick these in the sheds for now, just so we're not running out of room. I can't place anything in the shed, like, so... At least if they're in the sheds, I know they're not in my way. There's a light working here. Is that not a light switch? 
Oh yeah, they do work, yeah, awesome. Does me trigger not work? Oh yeah, it does, yeah. They're just not that bright. Right, you're in me way as well. But I'm gonna leave this out. So I don't know how much of this I'm gonna need to clear. Right, so now if we just no, oh, hang on. So just for instance, we'll we're gonna need a baler, right? Uh, so say we're gonna do square bales, bought, and then say we're gonna wrap them square bales. We'll go pink, uh, bought, right? And then we say we needed a a tractor to pull them. Uh, oh yeah, say we wanted this, right? Just, just why not? Uh, so we'll go on our twin wheels because we'll use it for spraying. And then you then want the tank for it, which is back here. Right, this is just all for instance, right? So we've bought a load of gear. So now I can just click on that reset, click on that reset, and uh, so I don't mind going to the shop. Don't get me wrong. I'm, this isn't to get away from the shop, but it's just to have somewhere where if we need to empty the shop quickly, we will be driving. But see, well, apart apart from how things fell over, but you get the gist. Right, so obviously we've just reset all these and then don't know why that tank things fell over. And then we've I would say we've probably just left ourselves enough room. So all the vehicles are reset to the grass. Oh this thing sounds great. My problem is how am I gonna get I wanna try and knock that thing back on its feet. I actually wanting to use that on this. Is it? Oh, is it actually? I think it's the wrong way around. I love this thing. I've, I've very, very rarely used it as well. But it's no good if it's uh, if it's upside down, is it? Right. Uh, it's all this sort of gear that I haven't used on other farms or I haven't even used on uh where's the tank? There it is. But how am I gonna get the tank on? I don't understand. I don't get it. If the tank's going to sit like this, that's not great for me. Well, that's useless. Yeah, I'm not that bothered. I didn't really want it for spraying, like, but. Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, hang on. What's that one for? I don't get it. So if we buy that one, right? And then we'll go and sell the one we just bought because it's useless. Right. I mean, I don't even know why I'm getting involved with this at the moment. We're meant to be building a yard. <laughs> but I really love this thing. This thing's great. 
It sounds fantastic. It shouldn't be a mod, it should be full paid equipment this. This is awesome man. So if we just what's the crack here? Do we just reverse in like this? And we get out. Do we attach it? Oh there we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this thing's awesome. Right, we should really go and put this in the shed. So it's out me road. Oh, don't look behind you when you're trying to go forward. But this is why I want a decent sized shed so I can store anything. So yeah, it's a good sized shed, we can drive straight in. Park that up. Ah, oh, it's mint that. Right, anyway, back to the fuel uh, disaster. So, we need to put in some sort of fueling system, slash seed, slash... Pretty much, we need everything. We don't need a pig food silo, but it, for instance, if I buy a seeder and reset it to here, I then need to fill it up with seed. Uh, so, that's quite important, so... Right, fuel wise, so how far up here can we go? So I would say we probably need to open up this entrance a bit more. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Oh, I also need a, uh, see uh, when we're live this is better, uh, I need one like a do these do ground thing? I, just, I don't even know what I'm asking here. Uh, normally you use a plow, but I know some of the modded uh, cultivators you can actually use to change, you know, to cultivate straight to a field, change fields or whatever it's called. No, so we 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 need a plow. It doesn't need to be a big plow. I just want to get rid of that bloody field. The I used that roller, didn't I? Because I'm an idiot. Uh, it should be there. Where is it? Right, so I think we're going to need to just cultivate that whole section anyway where we're going to sit the vehicles, I think. I don't think we're going to be able to keep grass there unless we do the ground. Unless we just revert that back to ground because as soon as you pick an implement up, it's just getting rid of the grass. So this is what I want to allow create fields. Uh, which one is it to allow create fields? Uh, lift plow, allow create fields. That's what I want. I just want to get rid of the uh, this carry on up here where I was messing about with the roller.
We'll obviously just cultivate this. Oh, no we won't, because I can't drive a plough. I missed it again. Mark, man. Get a grip. Come on. How did I miss that last bit, man? I missed it again. <laughs> uh, right, hang on. Sort myself out. Sort your life out. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Right, I want to be going that way. Ah, we got it. We got it. Right, so I think it's going to be worth cultivating that whole area. So... Uh... Right, so we can just... Would have been nice to open the window on this, eh? Right, so, this nice, this nice job we did there, I don't know whether, I kind of wanted to just leave that grass, uh, but I think we're going to need to, I think what we could do actually is we could just use the roller and put it back to standard, that might help. Right, anyway, because we, we still need to put like light in and fuel and life right so I would say having the fuel light closest to the shed so we can just pull up is probably where we want it and then when you're getting fuel if it was me oh actually hang on uh, these these are the tanks I don't know whether to put the white tanks in or put these in that's a seed tank Solid fertilizer tank, uh, twin fertilizer tank, liquid fertilizer, so these could really go in like here, so like on your way out or in you can just fill up with seed. I'm not I'm not hundred percent like or they could go over here. Where you can just whip round we can put them in a bit. So how far up can we go? So we put them in there and then we need liquid, we need a seed tank, that needs to go in. Right. So we've got seed, we need a fire hydrant. which you can put in just uh, where should we put the fire hydrant actually hmm I want to put a jet wash in as well so 
I'll say we'll put the fire hydrant just at the gateway. No, because then you've got to park on the road to fill up. So we'll put the fire hydrant near fueling. And then we'll put the jet wash. When we find the jet wash. We want a... Uh, sorry guys, I'm going a bit fast. I know I am. I apologise. We want the Karcher jet wash. Which is there. Because we want like a little, uh, we can put a bit of a gap in here. Uh, so I want to turn that round. Why can't I put my jet wash here? That's right, and jet wash there. Right, that's fine. So now we've got a jet wash in. Lights will be another thing to go on as well. Fertiliser. So I really wanted to put one of these in, but if I'm being honest, we've just run out of room. And I think it would just look odd. There. Actually, it might not actually look too bad if we get rid of the jet wash. I could just put it right next to the shed. That would work, wouldn't it? How's that look? I can sell it like it's near you. And it will be really handy because I really want to use the muck spreading on this. That's not bad actually, right. Change of plan. You'll get used to this with me. Building things, it all takes time and... Uh, right, we're going to move the fuel and, and the... Uh, so I want this as a fully functioning yard, you know. So seeing as though we've gone for poo there, we should really put in a slurry pump. Which I have no idea where it is. Slurry, where are you? Uh, yeah, I think it's more this way. This is the only issue when you start getting like... I wouldn't say I've got too many mods, but I'm getting that way. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, we could put a fire in the shed. That would be handy. You know, just in case we get cold. Right, so we could have that just... a bit further out. And then, I think what we should do, because we can't plant a tree, because I've already put this in, I think we should put a big tree here. Yeah, that, that, that makes the area look a bit better. Uh, right, what else could we do with? We've, right, we need we need to put fuel back in. We need to put somewhere to stop and get fuel on the way in or out, and jet wash. Because I, I do want to keep my stuff clean. <laughs> I'll put the jet wash right next to the slurry pump. <laughs> I tell you what, we could put the jet wash. If you're gonna let me put it here. I want to put it like there. I could put it next to the building eh? No. No, I'm not liking that idea. So we've got seed tanks. So we've got somewhere to go and get seed. Looking forward to try all this out, right? Slurry pump. Uh jet wash just is gonna have to go next to this slurry pump. Unfortunately. So just as you come in you can stop and wash your vehicle. Uh, then we need fuel because everybody wants fuel. So we can put that back in just next to him. Hang on, where are we at here? The jet wash is a bit squint if I'm honest. So then put one of them just in there because that's all we need. 
Right, so how are we looking? I still want to... Uh, I want to do something with this side. That's not looking too bad, so when you come in... So I don't... Yeah, so I could actually get rid of some of this, because I want to put gates and that in as well. I want to put some fences in and such like. So... Well... I'm not going to need that plough anymore now. If I'm going to get a plough, it wouldn't be that one. I just got that one while we're uh, while we're sorting stuff out. Uh, plough. Right. I don't. I don't see the point in. Even though I got the baler and that just as a. I got this just as a like a, a test to see where stuff was going to spawn, but. I don't really see the point in getting rid of it now because we, you know, not that I need the money, but we're going to need a baler. So we'll just stick this in the shed for now. It'll be nice when we actually need to use all this stuff instead of just buying gear. But we will need it because, I mean, I'm already, uh, we've already got a worker a way of doing stuff but I just this bit here where we're gonna spawn like plows and stuff they spawn down so it's just gonna plow the grass so I think we either need to roller it or just cultivate it and then roller it but I think we need to do something but we'll see how we'll see how it goes we don't have to finish this today I just I wanted to get it substantial enough to actually start using it to store vehicles and uh, when I'm doing I want to do some muck spreading now instead of just because uh, I've done I do slurry now on Ballymoon and we're going to stick with that uh, my tractor's slowly moving backwards what did I want to get rid of here I want to get rid of that little blue cultivator Are we in? Are we in garage here? Shop, garage. I know I own it. It's there. So I've got that one. Is a little blue one a mod? Oh, it is. I've got you. I've got you. Right. Right. So now we can put our cultivator back on and sort out the entrance. I could just shut the gas, like, to be fair. Right, so I think we need to get rid of this. I, see, I like this entrance, though. This is why I think I'm just rollering it, but I'm pretty sure the vehicles only spawn sort of there. So if we just uh, hang on, so we just cut this off here and then just go straight back. Oh, and then we'll just cut this off.
Right, that'll give our vehicles a bit more room to spawn, I think. Uh, as I say, we can do like concrete paths and whatnot if, if need be later on. We can plant some grass and trees and things to make it look a bit more normal. But I'm fairly happy with that so far. Right, so another question is before we think about ending the episode I'll just put this away in here for now yeah before we think about ending the episode I want to use that you see this thing we put in here that well I want to make sure that actually does what I think it does and I think it lets you buy manure because obviously we don't have any cows at the moment therefore we can't spread have we got any modded ones in? I've oh, got the IT runner one on that as well. That, that one looks alright. It's quite small. I'm going to get that in and just just see. Just see what it's like. Yeah, not see what it's like, sorry. See if we can actually fill it up. Uh, right, we may as well just stick this in here for now. I'm getting a good bit of lag now, which is awesome. Right, so I want to make sure this does what I think it's going to do. So I say, some of these fields are really small as well, so I don't want to use small and big equipment like... Uh, does this fit on this tractor? Oh, it's got actual pipes as well. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, right, so we want to make sure that I can actually fill this up. I wonder if we can just reverse into it, that might look better. Excellent. That's doing exactly what I wanted to do. Fantastic. Happy with that. Ah, I've just noticed that my other webcam is frozen. Ah, oh, sorry about that, guys. I don't know. Can I sort that while I'm talking to you? No, I can't. For whatever particular reason. It's not having it. It'll just want unplugging and replugging back in, I think. Uh Right, that's fine, doesn't matter. So, back to this. Sorry about that, guys. Thought that hasn't caused too much. Right, so that's awesome. So that works well. I'm happy with that. So, we will stick that in. That'll go in that shed there nicely. So, like, I don't normally use the reset point that much, but when you're just starting out and you you're having like a farm like this where you you're not you're not bothering about uh, money or you, you know this is purely just for fun uh, I'm gonna use this spreader in the next episode anyway so 
I may as well just keep it in here if I can get it in without hitting anything. But yeah, so it, I knew I was going to be using the reset point, so I wanted somewhere where I could fill seed up and not the straightest I've ever done that like so we've still got lights to put in we've got we've still got loads of equipment to come uh, I wouldn't mind just before we go, I think we'll get a bit of a, I'm going to be baling next episode as well, so we've got a baler, uh, but we haven't got like a telehandler out for the farm, uh, I don't know which telehandlers I've got in here, I've got the new Holland one in, so we'll take that, uh, equipment wise we don't really need to worry about storing it so we'll take one of them because I've never used one before uh, we'll get a standard bale fork as well uh, all these sort of forks I've not really I don't know if these are auto forks actually I've not really used them we'll grab one telehandler uh, I've seen that used a lot we'll grab one of them We'll make it blue to go with a new Holland loader. Uh, and we don't need the standard one because we've got one. We'll grab a bucket just to have. We'll get this stuff reset to here. I'll put this away and then we'll call it a day here. Now we got quite a bit of gear, didn't we? I can see it on the screen, just resetting it, you know, behind me. No, I think there's one more thing to come up. Yeah. Excellent. So we'll go and stick this away on the rack. Uh, tidy the place up a bit, but look at that. That spawns in lovely now. Just right. Perfect, isn't it? <laughs> right. Anyhow, back to job at hand. Tidy up this little yard. Don't know what's going on with that button lately. You have to use it 12 times. With everything else, I just haven't had five minutes to try and sort it. I think this is... Uh, enable auto-load. Yeah, that's not too bad then. I don't really normally use them. I normally just try and do it myself, but... Again, I wanted to try new equipment. Right, so we've got this rack. I don't know if anyone's ever used them, but I think they're great. Uh, how does this work again? Oh yeah, here we go. I think we just went for the smaller rack as well so I can change that out for the bigger one if need be Yeah, I've never tried this thing yet. But this is, as I say, like I always said about the Jamad farm. Uh, that's what I used the farm for. It was just to test things out. Is that actually on the rack? I think we need the bigger rack, guys. Yeah, I think we need the bigger rack. That's not on. I'll change the rack in the next episode anyway. We don't need to do it now.
Can you actually, like, scoop poo out of this? Can you buy it that way? No, you can't. Right, that's fine. I was just thinking I could actually use this to fill up the thing, but once we've got our own poo, we can uh, start it out. That's weird. That's not... Oh no, it's gone down. So we're, we're not actually going to be able to lift this up. Uh, how do we lift it back up? Yeah, because that, that blue one's going to fall off, watch. I know it is. No, it's not too bad. Excellent. Right, so we've got one more bit of equipment which we'll just stick down the side there with the and we'll stick this in the shed. This thing I've never used this either. And I wanna I definitely wanna learn how to use this thing. Awesome. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to keep all my equipment here. Still want to put equipment at the farms and that as well, but as you've seen with Dramad, I end up with a ton of equipment. So, that's it. We'll call it a day there. Oh, I might want to be on the other side of the door, Mark. So we've still got more things to add, like more trees and some lights and things, but we can do that at like the end of episodes and things. The main thing is now I can come in, I can fill up my equipment to get on with the fields. That's what I wanted. Uh, I know you can do it in some of the farms and that, but I wanted to do it at the reset point, so when I'm buying tons of equipment, we can just reset it and get it filled up straight away. So, yeah, it looks awesome, doesn't it? Let's shut the gates to our farmyard, eh? Oh, I'm happy at that. Right, anyway, if you watch this, sorry, it might have been a bit of a boring episode, but we've built our little farmyard, and uh, I'm happy with it. I'm pleased. I think it looks cool. Uh, it'll grow with the farm, I would imagine. So tune in for the next episode, guys, and uh, we'll be actually doing some farming, which will be handy. Uh, and, say, Ballymoon Castle and things, that they'll still be coming out through the week, so... Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. You know, give a video a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it, give it a dislike. But just leave a comment. Let me know why you didn't like it. Just so I can change and get better. Uh, also, go over to the Facebook group. Check it out. Join it. Post on it. Do whatever you like. It's just there for you, us to all interact and be friendly and share advice and pictures and whatnot of anything. Uh, and also through demand i put a donation button on the youtube channel itself it's in the on the uh, banner part uh so you know if you need if you want sorry if you want to donate you don't need to don't feel like you need to but if you would like to the button's there anyway and i will catch you guys in the next one take it easy guys take care